Okay, now I'm going to show you how to make this frog. I call this the flip and tuck frog because the only thing really twisted here are the feet with um, like a fold in them. Everything else is just kind of weaved through. So this is like a woven twist and tuck frog. It's just kind of a neat design. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. And what you need is two, uh, I use spring green um, Qualitex 260s. One's going to be blown up the whole entire way with a puff of air out of it. And the other one has a four finger tail. And then you need a lime green 160 blown up the whole way like this. Just make it a little bit soft. And then a piece of a blush balloon blown up to about three fingers. And I just inflated it down the knot. I pushed it down and inflated it and tied it there because you need this end to wrap it around the back. And then I already did this one, but you need two little black guys with a long piece there. So if this is like this, um, little cherry tomato size bubbles for the eyes and then you want them about the same size, so just uh, one inch bubbles. And see how this is a little too short right there, so I'm gonna cut that off and then I'll take the longer piece, cut it down about two inches. And then set your eyes aside and then set this aside. And then you need about a 10 finger bubble of white blown up. And then just squeeze it down a little split it in half. I think I'll fold this up. Tie this together. And then squeeze this down and wrap it around. Tie it together. Again. I'm going to tie it enough, another time because I don't want that to come undone. And then cut that off. I think that's the first thing you should do is get your eyes done because that kind of holds everything together. Then after you have that done, pick up your lime green or <laughs> spring green 260 that's blown the whole way to the end. And you're going to tie this together. So if it's a little mushy like it should be, just take the little bit of an end, mush it down and tie it together like that. And then... And this one's for the feet, and the other one gets tucked through. So, you're going to take five fingers of this in the center of a loop from here. Just wrap that around like that. And then twist it and flip it through like this. Okay, and then what we want to do is put your hand through here and pull this through like this. So, do that again. Through the smaller loop, put your hand through and just pull this dry curve it a little bit and then pull it through like that. And then it's just sitting there, if you can see that. And now what you wanna do, if you have, once you have this, Take your lime green 160 and just kind of bend it in half so these ends are up here so it's like this. And now you have this. See this long part that sticks out? You just want to take this wherever it is in the middle here and hold it right over the top of that like that. And now, you can see this. What we're going to do is hold it here and take these ends and we're going to tuck them through here. We're going to get tucked right through there 
and then pull it the whole way up. And they're just going to be side by side. So you're just going to pull that the whole way up like that. So that's nice and tight. And then we want to take our eyes. I guess this bubble, well, you can scooch it around. So, yeah, like you could scooch this up a little bit. I guess it just has like a little lip that your hand can kind of fit around. Right like that. What we're going to do is put these eyes, they should be done already. Just lay them in there and this, let's get them a little short. These should be the same size, but that one bubble wasn't squeezed out. So take your eyes and you're just going to lay them on there and go over the top of the eyes and tuck them. Or tuck the 160s right through the front of the mouth. So right like this. And pull it down. And then fix it here. So it, it kind of lines up so it's even. Okay. Like this. So you have this. And then... Then you're gonna take these and just run them right like that. And now lay your frog down. Okay? Lay this this part down for a minute and pick up this other 260. And we're gonna start with a one inch terry tomato size bubble and pinch twist it. And then we're gonna make three finger bubbles, three of them, three three finger bubbles to make one frog foot and flip this pinch twist up through one of them to keep it from coming undone. And then make three more three finger bubbles and twist it right into there, right like that. So you have this and then then you want to squeeze this up, even pressure here and here, the whole way to the end, okay? Right like that. And so you have this. I, I kind of bent it like that. And then, see this? You're going to feed this through, right through the bottom of that one, the 160s, right like this. So, so you have this. And then... What we want to do is go the whole way to the end and make a little tiny bubble right here. And then we're going to go up to about five fingers. So five finger sticks in there and twist that. And this is like a little basketball hoop. See that? And then right in the center to separate that, pull your thumb up and bend it down and flip it around. And then you can push one of this little bubble through one of those loops to hold it. And you'll see these things? These little 160s sticking out? You're just going to tuck them through here, through each loop. Right like that. And then go to the end, mosh this down a little bit again, and tie it in a knot right there. Squeeze the air a little bit and tie it in a little knot right at the end. I'm going to tie it one more time because you don't want that to come undone because that's going to hold your froggy together sitting up. And then what you want to do is you want to take this 160 and put up to, to make it even. And you're going to pull it, bend it up, pull it up to, see the pinch twist between the frog's front feet? You're going to pull it up there and flip that pinch twist, like up through it, so it sits like this, this to keep your frog sitting frontwards, like that. And if he's like looking down, which he is, um, you just adjust it. You can push this like back a little bit, and then, you know, push, push this up. Just adjust it, that's all. Just will sit up for you. Like that. See him? 
and then take your um, scrap piece or little piece of uh, blush 260 or whatever color you want the bottom of the lip it's a three finger bubble push down and take one end tuck it up on the left side of the eye in there and then take this other end and pull that up over here pull it up sure I am <laughs> pull it in go behind the eyes back here and just tie this in a knot I knot it two times so another air comes out like that and then I'm gonna cut that off above the knot so you have this like I said you can like you can scooch these around so he sits up further you know whatever you want to do but he will sit up for you I'll just bend him up a little bit like that and then you want to take your little eyes and tuck them through these centers and pull it Go like this and then pull this one through this other side right here like this and then you want to tie it down here I mean if this bothers you you can just tuck this under because if you don't want to see the knot tuck the black uh, end underneath the 160 lime green underneath of it pull it up through here and then tie it, tie it twice so it stays knotted and then just hide that right in there okay right like this and then take um i don't know if i even mentioned this i meant to it's laying right here in front of me um a 160 pink uninflated but you're just gonna put a little teeny tiny puff of air in that and just kind of pull it down some like that and knot it so it has like this little poof of air in it. And then just take it and tuck it through the center there. And you can tie it if you want to to this little piece of balloon that's, um, whoops, this little piece of balloon that's back here. You can tie it back here. And it'll keep it from um, falling out. Tie it in a knot or tuck it in if you're not worried about it. And then you can cut that off. And here is your little flip and tuck frog. He is sitting there. And you can you can play around with it and pull this down and see you know see how you want him to sit. So you can sit up or however you want. But this is Mr. Flip and Tuck. And here he is. Flip and tuck frog. what he looks like in the back.